Princess Aurora in the southern castle had finally woken up. The bell rang out nine echoes, dispelling the moisture and wildness of the vines after hundreds of years. They turned into thousands of fragrant flowers and colorful butterflies. But the beautiful princess was no longer here. There was an ugly and extremely scary zombie instead. Huh? No! Why? Why is that? What have I become? Aurora, you have to calm down. Princess! <laughs> I'm coming! Something must have gone wrong. Your true love, Prince Philip, has woken you up. After Aurora got into trouble, the king and queen passed away because they were so devastated and merciful. For over 200 years, the kingdom had no more prince or princess. Meanwhile, the royal blood in the kingdom is considered lucky, which will make the kingdom flourish, free from disease and misery. The whole country was eagerly waiting to see the princess, and also the wedding of the century with the prince who saved her. There is a stream in the myth. When people bathe in it, they can revive once. Although it is difficult to find, as long as there is hope, you must try. The fairy godmother used magic to temporarily restore Aurora's appearance, then hurriedly left. Prince Philip admired Aurora's beauty, rushed to propose to her. I'm sorry. I'm not ready for this. Huh? Hmm. Princess, why didn't you agree to the princess proposal? Mm, I don't want that either. But strangely enough, my heart doesn't have any fluttering. You know, people have been waiting for this moment for a long time. The prince is also your benefactor. Huh? Princess, you shouldn't hesitate. Huh? I know what I have to do. In the face of public pressure, Aurora finally agreed to marry hmm. Philip. The whole country was bustling with preparations for the wedding, <laughs> except for the princess who seemed to wither away day by day. The side effects of magic were about to wear off, and the body began to transform. She was scared and hid away from everyone. That night, the princess was crying desperately in her room when she heard a knock on the door. Outside the balcony was placed flowers with very beautiful colors. The strange thing was that as soon as she inhaled their fragrance, the princess began to recover her human form, and they immediately huh? faded away. Oh my god, I am back to normal! Huh? Unfortunately, just like fairy powder, the effects of flowers last only a few days. From that day on, every two days, flowers were brought in the old huh? way. Aurora watches curiously as she sees the crow she saved before falling into eternal sleep. It's you? That's impossible! You're his descendant, aren't you? It's been 200 years. Since then, crows have become soulmates who share secrets with princesses. If you could talk, I would know where the flowers came from. One day, when Aurora's transformation suddenly takes place, <laughs> Prince Philip is also there. Huh? He was scared and immediately locked her up. <laughs> this is the price you pay for cheating on me, my fiancé. I did nothing wrong! When I woke up from sleep, it was like this! I will pretend that I don't know anything if the wedding will still take place. Why? What are you plotting? <laughs> you have no right to doubt me if you still wish to lay your eyes on it. Besides, if you don't agree, 
I shall announce to the entire kingdom what had become of their beautiful princess. <laughs> Aurora had no choice but to agree to Philip's threat. On the day of the wedding, Aurora did not expect Philip to make her appear to be a zombie. People were scared, calling her a monster, throwing things at her, trying to scare her away. At the moment, a monstrous man with black wings appeared, grabbing the princess. Half man, half crow! It's Howl! He is Maleficent's huh? son! <laughs> That's right! I'm back to avenge my mother! Your princess is under my spell! <gasps> oh hi, Prince! If you really are the true love of the princess, then come to the brink of bringing her back! Otherwise, I curse this kingdom to perish in your hands as soon as you become his huh? successor! The prince rushed to pursue, both to prove himself worthy to inherit the country, and to plot to destroy both Howell and Aurora. <laughs> Under Philip's hail of arrows, Howell spread his wings to shield Aurora and got wounded. Finally, he was exhausted, hugging the princess who fell into the cliff. At the bottom of the abyss is a deep lake, surrounded by bright rainbow flowers. I finally see you, Princess of Howl. Close your eyes and let me show you an interesting story. How is the only son of the dark fairy Maleficent. Not only is he handsome, he is also extremely brave, creating a barrier to detain the bat zombies flying under the abyss. Spending a lot of energy, Howl fainted. When he woke up, huh? he found that Princess Aurora was there to take care of him. It was the best time Hao had in his life. Hmm. Then Maleficent huh? knew about it. She told Hao to come back. She'd help him get the princess. At that time, Hao who only thought of what he liked, had to have it. So he found a way to take Princess Aurora to the deep forest. <gasps> Perhaps Maleficent had a grudge against the king and queen, but since she was forbidden to enter the kingdom, she could not take revenge. The day is finally here. Princess Aurora brought herself to me again. It is a pity, for the sake of a hundred years, that I cannot destroy you at once. Then I curse you to sleep for two hundred years. And when you wake up, you're doomed. <laughs> the fairy godfather and the royal army chased after. It was over. He only used the power to seal Maleficent and reduce the curse by Aurora will sleep but wake up when there huh? is true love. Huh? Old bulky vines grew around huh? the princess and then spread throughout the castle so that no one could be with her. Howell regretted that he had indirectly pushed his beloved into such a situation. He tried to go in, stay next to the princess, look for her to sleep peacefully. Huh? Time passed quickly. And all of Howell's efforts to awake the princess were in vain. 
It's been a hundred years, and if you don't wake up, I know what to do. There is only one way to turn her to a zombie to prolong her life, but is that really the right thing to do? Trust me, I'll find a way to restore your original appearance. Hmm. But even after turning into a zombie, Aurora still couldn't wake up. Hal is now in agreement. He accepted to find Aurora another lover, as long as the princess woke up and was happy. However, the prince also found it difficult to retreat when they appeared. Then that day came, Philip appeared. The princess woke up. <gasps> huh? The man has appeared. I will go and protect you from the distance, wishing you happiness. He didn't know it's his love that woke Aurora up. The <gasps> princess will be happy, but then Howl heard crying. Knowing the princess began to turn into a zombie. He risked his life to descend into the abyss to find the antidote. How exchange 100 years of cultivation for one of my flowers? He had only 1,000 years of cultivation. The flowers he brought to the princess have already consumed most of them. And Hal is just a weakling now. Huh? Huh? Stop talking! I brought her here. Please, make her a complete human. I'll accept any price. But what else do you have to exchange? Hmm. So these huh? beautiful crow wings? What do you think? Huh? Don't! Please don't do this! The miracle took place. Howell brought the beautiful princess to the shore. Only the wings did not exist anymore. Huh? The Lake huh? Goddess, please return to wings and magic power to Howl. I'll be a zombie for the rest of my life! Listen, Aura. Your kingdom still needs you. If you don't return now, it will be without a ruler. Do you want your people to fall into the hands of someone as wicked as Philip? Hmm. Mm. I told you earlier that you were cursed by me, and now that you have returned to human form, they will gladly accept you. Suddenly, the sound rang out, huh? signaling that the zombie birds guarding the abyss huh? were about to wake up. Huh? We will run up the path and leave the valley. <laughs> However, just a few steps away from the edge of the cliff, Aurora slipped huh? due to her carelessness. <laughs> Even though the zombies have come to the place, Howl is still determined to use a little bit of force to protect the person he loves the most. Before turning into a full-fledged zombie, Howl was able to take the princess away safely. Hot tears fell on the princess's sad face. You haven't told me directly that you love me! Come up here, Howl! If you don't show up, I'll be really angry with you! Aurora! Huh? Thank God, you're back! Aurora huh? reveals Philip's true face huh? and declares Howl was the one who sacrificed to save her. Huh? Huh? Mm. She ascended the throne, became a powerful queen, made people's lives happy. But only the queen knows how much her heart still hurts. Soon after, the fairy godmother returned, bringing with her the same rainbow flowers that Howl had brought. <laughs> By the wind, send this flower to him! When the work is done tomorrow, I will visit you again. Suddenly, a flock of brightly colored butterflies rose from the abyss, carrying Howl, now human. Aurora. Huh? 
finally, the love of the Black Crow, the villain's son, is also rewarded. I don't want a dull, colorless, and emotionless life. And I'm willing to <laughs> sacrifice everything to become vibrant like a <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> Subscribe to Woa Fairy Tale to follow my story. Nikki has a burning passion for fashion <laughs> and will do anything to pursue her passion. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Huh? Huh? From jobs like a factory worker just to get leftover huh? fabric. And unfortunately, <laughs> she was falsely accused of being a thief, leading to her dismissal. <laughs> they said she was poor and a dreamer, unaware huh? of her place in society. <laughs> <laughs> they said her vibrant rainbow designs were outdated and cheesy compared to the elegant and sophisticated design direction of 19th century huh? Paris. <laughs> Despite countless disappointments, Nikki remains determined not to give up on her dreams. Nikki's mother loves her huh? very much and wants to spend more time with her. But for Nikki, nothing is more important than her dream. Nikki, I know your passion is important, but can't you have a proper dinner with me? Huh? You wouldn't understand, Mom. You're just a housewife. You've never had a burning dream like me. Huh? Everything changes one day. Nikki accidentally huh? discovers a notebook about a mysterious fashion kingdom. Huh? Where she is a princess and her mother is a queen. And there's huh? also a portal that can take Nikki there. Mom! What does this mean? Huh? Don't touch that notebook. It's just stories I made up when I was young. Her mother's explanation huh? is not convincing enough. Nikki decides to find out the truth. She follows what she remembers to the gateway between the two worlds. Huh? Hmm. huh? Who are you? Hello, Princess Nikki. I've been looking for you for a long time. Huh? Let's go, Princess. Let me take you to the place where you'll fulfill your great power. Become a renowned designer and freely design the outfits you love. Is this where my talent will shine? <laughs> Welcome to the Kingdom of Chromatic. It's beautiful, but who are those people? They are the ones who have been exiled. They have nowhere else to go, so they reside here. A fallen kingdom. Hmm? Formerly, Chromatic was a prosperous place alongside Zivanshi, Jimmy Chu, and Hermes. In this world, the more beautiful the clothing, the stronger the magic, and each kingdom has its own representative <laughs> artifact. However, those kingdoms have formed an alliance and stolen huh? the rainbow dresses, the source huh? of power for the kingdom. Faced with that threat, the Queen huh? of Chromatic and also Nikki's mother fled, leaving behind the citizens. My mother? So cowardly? She just wanted to protect you. Look, she left behind many magnificent works. I've been thinking poorly of my mother all this time. Surely the one holding the rainbow dress is one of those designers. To attract their attention, you have to participate in the upcoming fashion week. Huh? Nikki, only you can restore honor to your mother huh? and save this kingdom. Huh? Hmm? She goes to the kingdom of Jimmy Choo first and participates in his shoe design competition. This time's theme is the Fairyland. <laughs> the division between the rich and the poor is so obvious here, isn't it? That's right! Here, the rich dress the best. 
The middle class follows the trends and wears similar clothes. As for the beggars you saw earlier, they're at the bottom of society. With her passion for rainbows, Nikki designs a beautiful pair of heels. She wins the competition. Jimmy Choo is so impressed that he personally takes her to visit his workshop. He even points out the location of the legendary glass slipper of this kingdom. But she still can't find the rainbow dress. Nikki also won at the competition of Hermes and Givenchy with her own abilities. Indeed, when living true to her passion, one will shine. Despite the joy of winning, Nikki feels no different from Jimmy Choo. She's taken to visit the factory. Knowing the location of the legendary fashion items, yet still unable to find the rainbow dress. Moreover, even though she's invited to become an exclusive designer, Nikki declines. What she wants most is to become a designer for each kingdom of chromatic. I still can't understand. None of them has the rainbow dress. Only your mother witnessed that accident. Maybe she knows something. Maybe! I'll go ask my mother, and if that doesn't work, I'll design a new rainbow dress. I believe you can do it! <laughs> but now everything has turned completely opposite to Nikki's imagination. It turns out Nikki's mother is the one holding the rainbow dress. Mom! Why are you holding it? It turns out that Nikki's mother knew Valentina's plan. She is the leader of a fanatical black and white fashion rebellion. Valentina wants to seize the rainbow dress and even the legendary artifacts of those kingdoms and create a new fashion world where everything is in black and white only. Out of concern for the fashion world losing its inherent beauty, Nikki's mother fled to another dimension, taking Nikki with her. In addition, anyone who wears the rainbow dress will gain extraordinary powers, but must sacrifice what they value most. This is also why I never wore it and fought against Valentina. Because what I value most in the world is you, dear Nikki. At this moment, Nikki understands everything. She needed so much courage and love to protect her all these years. Her mother had lost herself in Nikki, hoping that Nikki would fulfill her unfinished life. I'm sorry, Mom. I've been selfish all this time, not understanding you. <laughs> huh? Huh? Suddenly, Valentina appears. Oh, how touching! <laughs> you! You wretch! <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. Thanks to you, I've learned the location of all the legendary treasures. <laughs> it turns out that before Nikki's mother left, Valentina cast a spell on her notebook. <laughs> Sooner or later, Nikki would find that notebook and it would signal Valentina of her location. The beggars Nikki encountered were actually the brainwashed citizens of Chromatic by Valentina. Farewell, Nikki! Huh? Huh? No! Mom! When Nikki arrives, it's too late. Huh? Valentina has captured her mother and the remaining three designers, <laughs> sealing the legendary fashion artifacts. <laughs> Nikki recalls everything she has learned and creates a <laughs> crown and accessories that go perfectly with the rainbow dress. I won't let you destroy this land! <laughs> you think you can defeat me? <laughs> Nikki made a bold decision. She accepted to permanently give up the thing she cherished the most, her designing ability.
felt an immensely powerful energy, now enhanced by the accessories she had designed before. Valentina had no idea that Nikki had become much stronger thanks to the suitable accessory. Moreover, Valentina, due to her lack of fashion knowledge and wearing mismatched garments, had weaker magic compared to Nikki. Nikki unleashes a massive spell, defeating Valentina once and for all. As Valentina is defeated, the whole place lights up, restoring the beautiful colors it once had. <laughs> the land also expresses gratitude to Nikki, helping her regain her design abilities. Nikki has successfully restored the kingdom and restored her mother to the position of queen. <laughs> Thank you, Mom, for always supporting my dreams. Let me make it up to you for the rest of our lives. She continues to learn and grow as a skilled designer. Eventually, success comes her way. Nikki's later designs are warmly embraced by the public. <laughs> a doll which could move? That's weird. It seems she was trying to run away. Let's follow Woa Fairy Tales with today's story to know why that cute doll was running away. Once upon a time, there was an orphan tailor who lived alone in a small house. He was interested in sewing the cute dolls to befriend with him. One day, he accidentally got a strange button. I've never seen such a beautiful button like that before. Maybe it will match with my new doll. <laughs> <laughs> wow! It's just as I expected! Look, my girl! You're really beautiful! That night, Kay suddenly heard a sound from the window. He looked around and realized the doll which he had made that afternoon was moving. Who are you? Hearing what Case had said, the doll <clears throat> pretended to be immobile. I saw you. If you don't say anything, I will throw you to the oven. Please don't do that. I will say, I'm Chandra, <clears throat> the princess of the Magic Kingdom. <gasps> the Magic Kingdom? I've never heard of it. The Magic Kingdom is covered by a magic shield, so human will never be able to see it. Are the people there all buttons? And they send their souls to dolls, or something like that. Of course they're not. I'm in this form just to escape from the dictatorial chaplain. In my kingdom, when you get 18 without finding your own weapon, you will be sent to a place called hell. And because you weren't able to find it, so you decided to run away? <laughs> yes, in the most dangerous moment, I myself sent my soul to that button and asked a bird to bring me far away. I need to find a safe hideaway, waiting until I can huh? be back to my real figure. How long will it take you to be back like normal? In the full moon day, when I absorb enough power from the moon, I will hmm. be back to normal shape. So you can stay at my house. I also live here alone, and no one will come here. <laughs> then Chandra accepted to stay at the kind tailor's house. He treated her really well. They gradually had feelings with each other. The full moon day finally came. Ah! Case was really excited. He went to town and bought many things to hail the celebration party for Chandra. Suddenly, he saw a strange man appear and ask others something. Could it be that he is here looking for Chandra? No, I have to be back immediately. Arriving at home, he carefully hid Chandra away. What happened? Please stay here for a while. No matter what will happen, don't say anything. 
Hmm. But why? Case just smiled to reply to Chandra's question. Then he quickly left. A while later, Chandra could hear the voice of the chaplain. Quickly bring Chandra here! Mm. It's the chaplain's voice! Finally, he could find me here! I don't know who you're talking about. Hmm. There's a person who saw you talking with a strange doll. Quickly give it to me! If not, don't blame me for being too cruel. Mm. I brought Chandra to another place, so you won't get the chance to find her! Huh? Huh? <laughs> 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 Let me out! You cruel mm. chaplain! Chandra was depressed. <gasps> oh no! Case! <laughs> At that moment, the moon also rose high in the sky and shone everything on the ground. Chandra absorbed the power of the moonlight. She was quickly turned back to normal. Seeing the mess around, she predicted that something bad had happened to Case. I involved him! I cannot keep hiding like this! Then she determined to go back to the Magic Kingdom to save Case. Although having no weapons, but her power was not weak at all. She could easily defeat the guard and went to the place where Case was being detained. At that very moment, she could see the Chandra was using magic with Case. Stop it! You're not allowed to harm him! But her power was too little. Huh? In comparison with the chaplain's power. Right at that moment, Case's scissor flew out right in front of her. Huh? Suddenly, when she picked it up, huh? the scissor enlarged, turning into a sharp weapon. <laughs> with the new weapon, she immediately fought against the chaplain. Although becoming stronger than before, huh? But it wasn't enough for her to defeat the chapter. Mm. At the most depressed moment, through the mirror image on the scissor, she saw a needle on her head. She took it out and the needle immediately enlarged and pointed mm. at the chapter. <gasps> no! Don't harm him! Why? You wanted to harm me earlier! It's not like what you saw. I was carelessly wounded. The chaplain didn't do anything to me. Let me out! You cruel mm. chaplain! Mm? Uh. Mm? <laughs> that time he was trying to heal my wounds. So why did he detain you like that? If I didn't took him here, would you come back? And I detained him because I didn't want him to mess my room up. <laughs> then I could be able to explain everything to him. Hmm? But why did you have to do that? Isn't it to help you find your own weapon? Yes, I have my own weapon. I finally did it. <laughs> Thank you. That means now I don't have to go to that hell, right? Of course you don't have to. But you still have to practice under my supervision. You can't be serious. Then how is it different? from going to that school. <laughs> oh yes, thank you, kind tailor. I'm sorry to bother you. I will take you home safely. <gasps> Suddenly, Chandra came up with an idea. Uh, Chaplain, could you please let him stay here? I'm afraid that I can do it. <clears throat> please, he helped me anyway. Moreover, he is really good at sewing. And there is no tailors in this kingdom could meet my requirements. Hmm. Uh, it's all right, but on one condition is that he will have to abide by all the rules here. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> then they lived happily forever after. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
touch anything in the basement. <sighs> they were all objects sealed by my mother, so if we are not careful to let them out, it can be dangerous for us. Sabrina, you forgot to clean your things again. I'm coming. You stay here to clean and remember not to mess around with the furniture. I... no. <laughs> Fortunately, there were no scratches. Are you an ordinary person? Looks like the picture. Just talk to me. I have to tell Sabrina. Stop! Come over here. Help me untie the ceiling rope and towel for me to get out of here. Alex, have you done the clean yet? Huh? Look so tired. I don't know. When I was cleaning, I had a headache, then I couldn't remember anything. Oh, because I was careless to leave you alone here. Maybe you were affected by sealing the dark magic? Let's go up and eat a cake made by my mother, and you'll be fine. I also got some extra stuff for you in the room. Hmm. out of the picture. I will take revenge on you for sealing me for 16 years. Oops, what's going on? I must have accidentally spilled something. Um, I'm so angry. I didn't expect Brent was that old. But she just stretched out her hand and still knocked me into another room. She even didn't think that she was threatened. So, how can I get revenge? Alex, when my daughter is done, you two can eat cake and take a rest. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm going to bring this cake to the <laughs> orphanage. Sabrina, remember to take your stuff quickly. Yes. Oh, that girl is Brenda's daughter. <laughs> so if I can't find Brenda, I will take my revenge on that boy and her little daughter. <laughs> hmm. Ah! W w why are these items flying toward me? Sabrina! Alex, what's going on? <laughs> Is this Alex's ice bomb? Sabrina, you know I'm tired, so you want to use this opportunity to tease me with magic? I didn't do anything to you! It's you who teased me! <laughs> huh? Did you... hear someone laugh? Who? Is that your red herring? Here, I heard laughter coming from the basement. Let me use magic. Mm. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny when these kids are teased. It's been a long time since I felt this happy. <laughs> I used to be a cursed huh? princess living in this picture. I used to make fun of others. However, 16 years ago, Brenda sealed me with magic circle and this scarf and rope. Fortunately, that girl accidentally left the boy alone, so I had the chance to hypnotize him and get out. Ha ha ha, to enjoy this fun, I must think of many other pranks to play with Brenda's family. It turned out that she was the reason. We have to stop her. But how? This is my mother's magic book. In this book, there is a way to draw a magic circle to seal the Isolde painting princess. 
You draw it in the living room, and I'll take the painting, the towel, and the magic rope. Okay. <laughs> Where is this smoke coming from? <laughs> hey! <laughs> I got it! Daughter of Brenda, quickly give me back these things! No way! <laughs> Let me out! I caught you! But where's that boy? Drawing the magic circle to seal me? Huh? Huh? Stay away from me! What if I don't? What will you do? Your circle is broken! <laughs> what is that? Ah! It's the second magic circle I drew for you! Let me go! Huh? <sighs> From now on, just obediently stay in the picture and stop causing trouble! <laughs> no! No! I will come back for revenge! <sighs> Sabrina, are you okay? No problem. Now just bring her back to the basement and detain her more carefully. That's probably safe. Now we can safely go to the kitchen to find cakes to eat. There was a beautiful and poor girl named Esther who lived alone in a small house. And Roman, a young man who lived in that village, often came to help Esther. They are very close. Hmm. Esther, huh? what is your ideal lover? My lover? It must be a prince. <laughs> oh, good girl, you could marry a prince. I give you this perfume with a scent that fascinates men. Use it when you get the chance. But remember, mm. the scent only works until midnight that night. Great, thank you. That's how it is. Roman, I'm sure I'll have a beautiful love and marry a prince. Then, let me. Our Prince Jacob is holding a grand ball at the palace. You can join if you want. <laughs> I also want to attend the prince's ball. If he likes me, I can become a noble prince's wife. My chance has come. I also want to attend the grand ball. Maybe the prophecy will come true. But you don't even meet the prince, and you don't know what kind of person he is. He will be kind as I imagined. With the wondrous scent that the prophetess gave me, the prince will be mine. However, I don't have any fancy dresses yet. What should I do, Roman? <gasps> she was too obsessed with that desire. All right, to please her, I'll use my savings to give her a party dress. Did you really give it to me, Roman? Ooh. Great! Huh? So I can attend Prince huh? Jacob's ball. <sighs> hmm? <gasps> mm. huh? What do you think? Is it beautiful? Do you think the prince mm. will like me? <laughs> Thank you, Roman. The dress is beautiful. Thanks for your help. Mm. If my wish comes true, I will never forget mm. you. Huh? Why do I feel something strange? It's very mm. annoying and frustrating. <laughs> like I'm about to lose something.
We have another strong opponent. I will play tricks to humiliate her. You joining? Hmm. Oh no! You, what are you doing? Oh sorry. <laughs> it's just an accident. But if you still get in my way, that's not the end. Mm. The prince is ours! <laughs> yeah? I didn't expect a leap to be full of tricks and competitions like this. So scary. Huh? Hmm? This strange girl, although her clothes are dirty, she has a very mm -hmm. attractive scent. Who is she? Hello! I'm huh? Prince Jacob. May I have the honor of asking you to dance, beauty? Am I dreaming? Prince Jacob hmm. has invited me to dance. Oh my god. I am very pleased, hmm. Prince. <laughs> hmm. You are so beautiful, and your scent is so alluring. I think I already have a crush on you. Can you tell me your name? Prince Jacob? My name is S. Prince! I am the Esmeralda of the- And I am! <laughs> The Lady Killer Prince gradually got swept up in the beautiful girls around him, forgetting that Esther was pushed further and further by the crowd. <sighs> Prince Jacob, you're really a Lady Killer and heartless. You don't pay any attention to me anymore. So different from what I expected. It is almost midnight. According to the prophecy, the enchanting scent is about to disappear. My only advantage is gone. I have to get out of here. <laughs> the girl with the attractive scent, hmm? where did she go? Huh? Have you seen a girl with a very attractive scent over here? Where did she go? Your Highness, she's already out of here. Inadvertently, she left this shoe. Huh? The girl has an enchanting scent. I will definitely find you. Roman, I'm sorry. Huh? I ruined the dress you gave me, yet I have achieved nothing. It's okay, Esther. Don't be sad. Good things will come to you. Mm. Prince Jacob is looking for a girl who can fit the shoe he is holding. That girl will have a chance to become the prince's wife. Roman, that's the shoe I lost last night. Mm. Should I come out and admit that shoe is mine? But, my clothes right now are so poor and ugly. It's your dream. If you want, just take it. If the prince loves you, he will recognize you. The dress doesn't matter. You're right. I'll try it one more time. Once again, I feel uncomfortable, <laughs> like I'm about to lose her, just like last time. But, as long as she's happy, that's enough. Mm-hmm. Prince Jacob! Allow me to try on that shoe. I am the girl who wore the shoe last night. Huh? <laughs> Stop it! How could this poor girl be the gorgeous girl from last night? She doesn't even have that enchanting scent. But I fit the shoe. It's really mine. People with the same foot size are common. Do you want to cheat me? Soldiers, chase her away. <sighs> <laughs> so the prince only remembers me because of that enchanting scent. Even mm. though he danced with me, Jacob couldn't remember me among so many Ooh. noble girls. If I want to marry the prince, I must be ready to fight other girls like last night. Especially mm. when the prince doesn't love the real me. He will change at any moment. How is it going? Did the prince recognize you? Why do you look so sad? Roman, you are right. My desire to marry a prince is futile. True love does not come from enchanting scent, but from ourselves. I will find my own love independent of prophecy or anyone else. That's right, Esther. I'm glad you realized that. Mm. Esther, then... Well, c can we... I, I and you have a chance to be together? <gasps> a 
All right, let's pretend I never said anything. It's possible. To find out more, I would like to invite you to have dinner at my house. Do you agree? Mm. <laughs> in fairy tales, the fairies will always appear to help the kind people in difficulties. However, when a fairy helped someone without a good ambition, then she wasn't a fairy for sure. In a village, there lived an orphanage hmm. man named Jacob. For being a chimney sweep, huh? his face always got dirty. Not so many people could see his real face, even his best friend Keva. Huh? Jacob, help me please! A little sheep got lost from its herd. <laughs> Where are you dreaming about a prince and forget the sheep? When I'm able to marry the prince, I won't have to be a shepherd anymore, and of course, I won't forget you. <laughs> Although pretending to be happy, but Jacob was really sad, because he had fallen in love with Keva for such a long time. While splitting up to find a sheep, Keva saw a key with really strange patterns. There was also a wooden box near there. For her curiosity, Keva tried to open that box. A fairy suddenly appeared right in front of her. I can listen to your feelings. I will help you become the wife of the prince. Really? Yes, you only need to give me three drops of your blood. Yes, I agree. While hearing that she could marry the prince, Keva was so excited that she undoubtedly followed the fairy's words. Then Keva received a wonderful dress for the upcoming prom. The fairy also advised her not to tell anyone about that meeting, or the miracle would disappear. At that moment, Jacob had just found the lost sheep. When seeing the dress, Jacob asked, but Keva just turned around and said she accidentally got it. Then the prom came. The dress helped Keva to be the most outstanding girl on that night, and she could easily attract the prince's attention. The prince was totally overwhelmed by her beauty. He danced with her for that whole night. Finally, Keva's dream came true. The prince brought her back to the palace. However, being happy not for so long, Keva felt really depressed. Because she had been in the palace for so long, but she still couldn't meet the prince just once. Moreover, although having a sound sleep for the whole night, she still felt really tired the next morning. Keva invited Jacob to the palace and told him everything. Then Jacob advised her to discover the reasons for all those things. After that, in spite of leaving, Jacob secretly hid behind a chimney to wait. When the night came, as usual, the servant brought Keva a cup of milk. She drank it all and became sleepy. Right after putting her back on the bed, Keva took a deep sleep and didn't know what was going on. Until midnight, someone appeared and stepped on Keva's room. Jacob was surprised when he saw it wasn't a prince, but a devil. It came closer to Keva and gradually sucked her life spirit. The life spirit of the ambitious girls is always the most delicious thing. Waiting for the devil to leave, Jacob immediately followed him. The devil mm -hmm. entered a room. Mm. Then he got into a wooden box which was placed in the middle of the room. Jacob intended to go back and tell everything mm. to Keva. But he faced the guards who were on patrol, so he had to hide in a nearby room. Mm. Strangely, Jacob found all the things inside that room so familiar. Huh? Mm? Is that 
Jacob looked at the place where the sound came. It was the uh, king. Your Majesty, please forgive me. I meant no harm. You seem not to work in this palace. Why are you here? Seeing that the king had no bad intentions, Jacob honestly told him everything. I was also harmed by that hmm. devil. Years ago, I accidentally lost my son, and that devil took advantage and replaced him. But days later, I discovered his own identity, so he harmed me. Huh? Thanks for the orb that the theorists gave me. I could save my life, but I can only be awake for a while in the early morning. The time when the devil's strength got weak. Maybe the devil was full and hide inside that box. Then his strength was weakened. The box is his weakness. You just need to wait for the chance. Then destroy the box and he he will be eliminated. After saying that, the king immediately fell asleep. Jacob hmm. predicted that the devil was awake, huh? so he quickly ran back to <laughs> Keva's room. The next morning, waiting for Keva huh? to be alone in the room, Jacob got out from the chimney and told her everything. Huh? Just blame me for being too greedy. I desired the things that didn't belong to me, so I put myself in this situation. If you're afraid, I'll find the way to get you out of here. No, if I leave, that devil will definitely go find and harm other girls. Together hmm. we will defeat him. Is that okay? <laughs> so they carefully plan to defeat the devil. <laughs> <laughs> when the servant brought milk to her, Keva hmm? find the way to distract the servant and poured the milk out. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> <clears throat> huh? <clears throat> then she went to bed as usual. At midnight, the devil appeared again at her room. Keva was all awake, so she could feel the stink from the mm. devil. While being sucked of her life spirit, Keva was really tired, but she stayed still and bore it. Mm. After the devil left, Jacob secretly followed him. Hmm? To the room, he saw the key lying on the box, so he predicted that the devil had been inside that box. Without hesitation, he entered the room to destroy the box. Unfortunately, when he just touched the box, he was knocked out far away immediately. Just a weak human wants to mess with me? <laughs> huh? You will have no chance to see the sunlight tomorrow. Suddenly <clears throat> he felt his body hotter and hotter. At that moment, he realized that Keva had been there and she was burning the box. The devil intended to rush there to stop Keva, but Jacob used all of his strength to prevent him. Taking for a while, the devil could finally escape from Jacob. Immediately, he knocked Keva out far away from the box. But it was too late. The box caught fire and started burning. The devil screamed painfully when the box was burned into dust. The devil also vanished. Losing too much life spirit, Along with a critical hit from the devil, Keva's breath got weaker and weaker. Keva, huh? are you okay? After being in the palace, I was so regretful for leaving you there. I just wish 
that if I had the chance, if you still cared about me, we would be able to live a peaceful life together. Kiva, you will be all right. I promise to protect you for the rest of this life. Thank you. Huh? No, Kiva. No. Suddenly, the king appeared. He quickly put the orb on Keva's body. Miraculously, the orb helped Keva gradually regain her life. <laughs> After that, for showing his gratitude, the king held a solemn party to invite them. For being suitable with the party, Jacob had to go bathing and wear new clothes which were prepared for him by the king. Hmm. At that moment, huh? everyone was so astonished to realize that <laughs> Jacob looked exactly like the prince that the devil had disguised into. Thinking hmm. of something, the king immediately came to Jacob and rolled up his sleeve. Huh? Jacob? When did you have this birthmark? Huh? I don't know. I thought that it was a dirt stain, but I couldn't clean it. Jacob hmm? is my lost son. The devil stole your identity. Then he would look exactly like you. Ah. You have been in dirt all the time, so no one have seen your face clearly. Hmm? Jacob, <laughs> I have missed you so much. <laughs> From now on, hmm? stay here, in the royal palace with me. Is that okay? Yes, the Father King. But I have one thing to ask for your permission. Just tell me. Hmm. Hmm? Keva, will you agree to stay here with huh? me? But I'm afraid that I'm not worth with a prince. I'm just a greedy girl. <laughs> that was Keva of the old days. Since you decided to stay here to defeat the devil and save everyone, you became a brave and kind girl. What's not worth with that? <laughs> After hearing so, Keva felt relieved and agreed to stay with him. A grand wedding was solemnly held a few days later with the blessings of everyone. <laughs> And they lived happily together from then on. Wow, fairy tales.